Up steps Chalanolu, the man who crossed the divide. Lovely turn. It's Olivier Giroud's night. Sandro Tonali for Rafael Liao. Chalanolu curls it in. Lautaro Martinez. Rafael Liao finding a cross. Giroud, him again. I've been asking you know, teammate what it's like and. They say, oh, the atmosphere is crazy and it's... <laughs> but they were saying, just wait until you... Wait and see. Just wait and see. <laughs> Rafael Liao, and still Rafael Liao! I'm really excited to be a part of a fixture like this. And I know how much it means to the fans. And that's why you want to you wanna put on a good performance for, for the fans and the club. And, and you want to win the game. Um, but these are the games you, you want to play in as a footballer. You don't want to play in the games that don't mean anything. Uh, the friendlies is the, is the games that have the most weight, the most pressure on your shoulders that you want to play in. Milan's Ruben Loftus-Cheek can take the pressure. He went straight into Stefano Pioli's starting 11 after signing from Chelsea in the summer. And he's thrilled, not awed, ahead of the great city clash, the Derby della Madonnina. Two of the world's most storied clubs. Inter Milan had a really good season last season, and I think their confidence is high as well, starting the season you know, very well. So I think it'll be a really good game, and the fact that we've started so well as well just comes at a perfect time where you know the atmosphere will be huge and a great game to be a part of. An Englishman in Milan. This is the 27-year-old's first experience playing and living abroad. His introduction was made easier by friends from his past. It's been a really good, really good start to my kind of um, my new club, new kind of life. I'm living in in, in the centre. Fikayo Tamori celebrates. Fikayo was was a lot of help coming from Chelsea, knowing him from so young. Yeah, he helped me kind of understand what it's like to play for AC Milan and Pulley coming over as well. Having him, them here is, it does help you settle in a lot, a lot more quicker. So, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, grateful that uh, you know, we're in the same team again. Classic British box-to-box -box style meets Italian fashion. Yet, Loftus-Cheek matches perfectly with Pioli's outfit. Well, I first spoke to him before joining AC Milan. It was important that we were on the same wavelength and I was so happy talking to him that he um, wanted the same things that I wanted for myself. It's been very difficult for me to, you know, in the first kind of, first half of my football career has been difficult, whether it's injuries, um, yeah, not playing too much, playing a lot of different positions, so consistency has just never been uh, in my life, really, in terms of football, so consistency is kind of what I was looking for. You know, after speaking with the, with the manager, it seemed AC Milan was, was the right place for me. A flick on's a good one. Loftus Cheek has the strength. Play on. I would describe myself physical, technical, and dominant in, in the midfield. Played a, a lot of different positions, but you know, I prefer to play in the midfield and you know, assert my dominance physically. I inject my speed and power in, into the game when I can. I like to, to dribble with the ball and kind of be creative and, and make stuff happen. Loftus cheek opens the angle. Italy may be unfamiliar, but he's quickly understood the passion his new supporters feel for football. And there is Pulisic. I understand the weight of the shirt and that coming from the, the fans and how passionate the fans are. And, you know, when you see the support from the fans, it just makes you want to give your best for them. And San Siro welcomes a new hero. 70 or 1,000 people on your side. <laughs> to hear the, the roar when we scored the first goal was, was something that would stay with me. Yeah, it was super loud and, and uh, yeah, a really good experience. And a brilliant finish as well! 
to to be able to win the Scudetto um, with, with AC Milan would be would be amazing, um, and I think it's a it's a realistic goal, um, and we we've, we've started started really well. The season is hard, um, but I think we're all aware of that, and we all we all know the work that needs to go into it, and we'll we'll make sure we do that for the whole season and, and see where that takes us.